Hi, everyone. Thank you for joining us today for a webinar about our upcoming release. My name is Keely Lowe, and I'm the VP of Product and Browseware, and I am excited to share with you what we've been working on. We have a great agenda today. In 2025, our focus remains on empowering you to create with confidence, collaborate seamlessly, and scale efficiently. We continue to invest in ensuring vStitcher is dependable and high-performing for technical designers, ensuring that every style you create delivers consistent fit, manufacturability, and quality at scale. But beyond streamlining development, we're also committed to driving real business impact, reducing waste, accelerating workflows, and enhancing the consumer experience through better, more reliable fit every time. The result? Fewer returns, higher customer confidence, and a stronger bottom line for you. Creating at scale isn't just about the tools you use. It's about the people that you work with. It's why we're committed to removing barriers to collaboration across your entire ecosystem. Whether it's working seamlessly with designers, vendors, or B2B partners, we've built our platform to enable real-time collaboration, transparency, and alignment. When teams can iterate faster, share insights more easily, and work from a single source of truth, they don't just move faster, they move smarter. This collaboration isn't just about the people, it's also about integration and scale, leveraging the power, speed, and intelligence of the cloud solution that we've built. We believe innovation happens when technology enhances, not disrupts the way that you work. It's why we're continually evolving our open connected ecosystem, a platform that integrates seamlessly with the tools that you rely on from concept to the showroom floor, looking to eliminate friction and unlocking new efficiencies. Whether it's deeper system integrations, streamlined workflows, or new digital capabilities, we're committed to simplifying complexity and expanding possibilities. We can't talk about that without talking about AI. AI is evolving at an unprecedented pace, and we recognize that this rapid shift presents both new opportunities and challenges. We want to be more than just a provider of AI-driven tools. We want to be a partner in your exploration of what AI can do for your business. Over the next few months, we'll be rolling out some of the AI-powered capabilities that have been in our lab and that are designed to help you work more efficiently, make smarter decisions, and push the boundaries of creativity. We're committed to ensuring that AI is not just a buzzword, but a real, tangible enabler of innovation and fashion, helping you to transform ideas into manufacturable products with greater precision and speed. Fashion has always been about intuition, vision, and pushing boundaries. Our approach to AI reflects it not replacing creativity, but looking to amplify it. AI is becoming a true creative accelerator, helping you move from concept to production faster, while leveraging browseware to ensure designs are not just visionary, but manufacturable. It's about enabling smarter, faster decision-making, so you can focus on what truly moves your business forward. This release is another step toward that vision. We're not just delivering features. We're building a foundation for the future, one that's open, intelligent, and built to evolve with you. And we're just getting started. Okay, now we're gonna have the first demo. Anna, one of our amazing product managers is going to go through some of the streamlined features of vStitcher, new 2D tools, and the evolution of collaboration and style zone with the new folder structure that makes it easier to manage styles, groups, and boards. Hi everyone, my name is Anna and I'll take you through the first demo. The 2025.1 edition is here with exciting updates. In this teacher, you'll find the new 2D features, enhanced export options, upgraded PBR material editing, and more. Meanwhile, SalesOn takes another step forward by introducing a new folder structure, which will make collaboration even more efficient. Let's dive in and start by opening this teacher. In this edition, you'll be greeted by a brand new homepage designed to help you quickly start the new project and access the recent files. Explore the latest software updates in the new tab. And with just a click, dive into the Stitcher tutorials directly from the home page. Now let's open the files that we've prepared for this demo. We are going to modify the shape of the shirt's placket with a new design. To do so, we'll use a new feature replaced between internal lines. For easier editing, let's disable the textures in the 2D window. The Replace Internal Lines feature lets you manually select the lines you want to replace while maintaining the alignment of the piece when needed. Since the placket lines are aligned and stitched to an internal line, we'll preserve the alignment by selecting a point on the original placket, then a point on the new placket, and right-clicking to replace between the lines. This feature ensures precision in the pattern-making process by maintaining alignment when a pattern piece is replaced. 
For the full look, let's set a jacket. To make dressing and simulation easier, let's change a pose to an A pose. Enable using 3D for all pieces and simulate. Now we need to replace the back yoke piece with a new shape piece. We'll select both pieces and right click to replace pieces. The expanded replace piece feature now allows you to include internal lines, internal points and their gradient rules. After replacing the yoke, we can see that the new piece retains the internal lines, ensuring design accuracy across different fits and styles. To create a more detailed look, we'll add a back neck seam to the jacket. We'll use Clone Edge by Offset to create an internal line and apply a single needle top stitch. In this edition, we've upgraded the Stitcher's grading tool, allowing for easy cloning of graded edges by offset while automatically inheriting grading. This upgrade saves time, reduces errors, and ensures design consistency across all sizes. For the final touch on the jacket, we'll add a zipper from the YKK library. We'll replace the existing zipper with the new one that we've downloaded. In the Dreams properties, we have added several metal finish presets. These presets enhance the garment's realism, making the final renders a valuable asset for showcasing and e commerce. That's it! The outfit is ready to be shared with vendors and sent to production. When moving to production, a detailed and precise size chart and tech pack are essential. Click on the parameters in the site menu to open a new size chart. With the new Save as Ruler parameters, you can easily create accurate rules. For example, to measure the neck width, we'll use the X axis and update the ruler's name in the chart. For the shoulder slope, we will measure along the Y axis and for the armhole, we'll use the straight option. These new ruler options provide a faster and more precise workflow. Let's move on to creating a tech pack for the jacket. The jacket fabric is a Substance 3D material. The full integration of this feature in Substance 3D now allows you to include the parametric colors in the tech pack. We also upgraded the tech pack output. All sizes are now being exported in a new separate PDF that doesn't require any additional manual editing. These upgrades improve communication and collaboration with the production teams. It's time to share our garment with the rest of the team in Style Zone. Starting with this edition, all of the collaboration in Style Zone will be enabled with a visual quality standard presets, providing consistent visualization and a more organized collaboration experience. The latest Style Zone update introduces the all-new folder structure, which offers unlimited nesting, fully customizable views, and flexible filters. Let's create a new folder for Winter 2026 men's garments. This folder should be in the 2026 casual folder. We can now duplicate the garment to the new folder we created. Customizing styles on setup for each client ensures a smoother workflow and a more professional experience. We'd like to take this opportunity to share two new features coming soon to Styles On that will make your collection creation even more efficient. The first is the ability to quickly add styles to a collection from existing collections or folders without needing to switch views. The second is a new voting feature that allows users to vote for a style within a collection, making it easier to gather quick feedback from external teams, vendors and merchandisers all in one place. This was our first demo for 2025.1 edition. Thank you for watching! Thanks, Anna, that was great! Now it's time for our second demo. Damien, one of our industry technical gurus and product manager, will be showing us additional 2D features in vStitcher, new tools to improve the simulation, and more upgrades in StyleZone. Hello, everyone. My name is Damien, 
and I will take you through our second demo. With the 25.1 edition, creating digital garment will be faster and easier than ever. In this feature, we are excited to introduce new 2D features, improved simulation, streamlined PBR material editing, and more. Meanwhile, collaboration in StyleZone is now even smoother with the upgrade Miro plugin. Let's begin by opening the file we prepared for this demo in Vsticher. With the new home page, you can quickly start new projects and access recent files. Looking at the 3D window, we can see excess fullness at the hem of the dress. For easier editing, we will disable the texture in the 2D window. To fix the hem volume, let's cancel the inner symmetry, allowing us to edit just one side. To reduce the fullness, we will use the slash and spread feature. After implementing the slash and spread, we can create a new edge symmetry. In this edition, garment creation is more efficient than ever. When using piece or edge symmetry, enabling the new duplicate stitches on creation feature ensures that all symmetrical stitches are automatically retained. After simulating the dress, we can see that the new inner symmetry is already stitched. Additionally, we have introduced the option to disable symmetry when applying a single stitch. For example, you can now remove the stitch from just one of the dress straps without affecting the pattern's overall symmetry. The back straps are overlapping, but we want them to layer over and under each other. To achieve this, we will use the new styling tool Layering by Area. We will create a new group. Mark the area on the straps that needs to be overlapped. And update the simulation. The straps will then be arranged into the desired crisscross pattern. We want to improve the dress smoking. To achieve this, we need a finer grid on the top edge of the dress. The new grid refinement feature allows you to apply a finer grid to specific areas that require more detail while maintaining the default 1 cm grid for the rest of the garment. Let's increase the grid subdivision on the top of the edge of the dress. By refining the grid only in selected areas, we enhance simulation accuracy without increasing the simulation time. In this edition, we added a new auto-generated specular map feature that allows you to edit PBR materials for a more realistic fabric appearance. This feature also ensures that exported garments materials maintain their visual consistency across external 3D application. Another great addition is the ability to apply transparency exclusively to the diffuse map. This can be enabled through the render preferences by changing the transparency setting to diffuse only. This option preserves the material's PBR properties, ensuring both shininess and transparency remain intact in the final render. Now we will create a new pose. The Edit Pose feature has been upgraded with symmetrical avatar editing, making the posing process more efficient. Additionally, the new Multi-Select Joint feature allows you to rotate multiple joints simultaneously, enabling more natural spine and finger movements for realistic poses. Let's save the new pose and simulate to see the final result. The garment is ready and we can move ahead to share it with the rest of the team in StyleZone. We will be using the default VQS provided by the system. StyleZone's new folder structure allows you to upload the style directly to the relevant folder. 
we will upload the dress to Summer 2026 New Styles folder. Styles on latest updates also include improved global search tool, with new filters that allow you to easily search for assets and folders. Another great update is the addition of the garments thumbnail in the result page, making sure you are selecting the relevant assets. In this edition, we've also upgraded the mirror plugin, allowing you to use images from Stylezone at their original resolution. This enhancement enables you to create high-quality presentations and conduct an in-depth style reviews in Miro, improving collaboration and team efficiency. That concludes our second demo for the 25.1 edition. Thank you, Damien and Anna. It's always exciting to see the evolution and value of our tools. That was terrific. My last slide today is to encourage you to explore. I want you to download our latest software, read the release notes, and please go to Browseware University. It's there that you can learn about the newest capabilities or you can just brush up on your skills. It's open to you and we encourage you to take advantage of it. As we wrap up today's session, I wanna thank each of you for taking the time to join us. We're excited about the value this release brings to your business and we look forward to seeing how it enhances your workflows and outcomes. Our team is here to support you. Whether you have questions, need guidance, or want to explore deeper use cases, please don't hesitate to reach out. Thank you again for your time and engagement. We appreciate your partnership, and we can't wait to see what you create next. Have a great day.